All right, quick video here as McCole Hardman uh, really ended up being a hero in this Super Bowl, able to you know help pull off uh, a victory here. And, and what a weird run McCole Hardman has had. If you look at his stats, uh, you see that, you know, uh, really for a while, he was an effective role player for the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, each of his uh, first three seasons, he had over 500 receiving yards. So I'm not saying he was, you know, uh, uh, amazing or anything, but he definitely was someone who was a contributor, maybe not what you want out of a second round pick, but still he was a contributor, but, you know, not a great 2022 in 2023, they did it kind of weirdly backwards, I guess, because, you know, he was with the Jets. Uh, he signed with the Jets, but uh, the Chiefs kind of looked around and said, hey, maybe we could use another receiver. Let's just go back and let's get McCall Hardman back. They traded a sixth round pick to get him back there. But even that, still only 118 yards this season. He wasn't a huge part of the offense. But what's so cool about the Super Bowl is that sometimes it's not the superstars coming through. Sometimes it is the role players and it gives guys opportunities to make big plays. Also, this is unrelated, but uh, his Wikipedia uh, profile made me laugh a little bit, where you see like it's all of his accomplishments in a block of text, and then just the bottom sentence is, Hardman also briefly, briefly played for the New York Jets. Like, yeah, I guess that's that's a fair, you know, it just feels like a funny throw in. But anyway, let's talk about his really, his two big plays in this game. The first one is this one. It's a cover two zone play, and you see Hardman's route. It's going to be a deep shot over the middle. Um, it's against cover two zone, so like really, you wouldn't think this would do a lot. Usually, these are setup routes. You have Hardman in the game because he's fast. You have to respect his speed. It helps open up stuff underneath. Usually, it's kind of a thankless job, but every now and then, something like this can happen. Watch as when this play begins, you see, first off, Herman's running this route really well. You see him kind of fake as though he's going towards the top of the screen, getting the safety who's on the top of the screen, kind of go, taking a step in that direction. So when Hardman does then cut, he's going to just try and split the safeties. I'll be honest, most quarterbacks should not be making this throw. You know, you see Kelsey at the bottom of the screen, he's wide open, and like that's the quote-unquote smart read, but at the same time, can't see the whole field at once, right? And also watch Mahomes somehow pull off this amazing throw. And even though it was an incredibly high degree of difficulty play, he can make those types of plays, which is also the absurdity of Mahomes. But it was a great job by Hardman to get open and to you know, make that play work. Now, obviously, the Chiefs would fumble uh, immediately after this. So it didn't quite have the impact that we thought it was going to have when it happened. But it still matters, right? Because if they didn't hit on this play and then fumbled right after, well, now the 49ers are already in field goal range. Maybe they score a touchdown. Like, that completely does change the game. So field position still matters, was still an impactful play. You know, he had one catch for two yards on a third down and eight. We won't really talk about that one. His other catch, you know, a little bit notable. It's this one, which I've already broken this play down from like Andy Reid's perspective and from Mahomes' perspective, but I haven't really broken it down from McCall Hardman's perspective, which I think is an interesting perspective to break it down uh, from. So you see where he is on the field. Mahomes is down mode, signaling to him to start the motion. Watch as when this play begins. You see he starts in motion, and you might uh, recognize this play as the one that last year the Chiefs did a couple times against the Eagles. But you see it's that player right there for San Francisco. That's the key guy to watch as the second you see Hardman start to go in motion, he's now kind of not paying as much attention to him. And when you have the play action, I mean, again, you see that defender, he's focused on the play action and focused on Mahomes. He isn't looking towards the receivers. I'll be honest, I'm not sure if he realized that Hardman actually cut back again towards the offense's right. But Mahomes does realize this. He quickly gets over. He gets it to Hardman, who you know did a great job of being able to make that play. They get the uh, Super Bowl winning touchdown. Just, just an incredible job by him. And again, uh, sometimes it's not what you do game in and game out, but it's what can you do in the biggest of spots. And it's pretty cool. I think a cool story that he was able to you know uh, do what he was able to do in this game. Again, I mean, you know... It, in the offseason, he signed a one-year, $4 million deal, and you have to wonder how much of that was like, hey, let's get someone who has you know, a championship pedigree uh, in the locker room. That usually does get you an extra couple million uh, in free agency, but it doesn't work out with the Jets. He only has one catch, and then he gets traded back to the Chiefs and ends up winning a Super Bowl this year. I mean, pretty crazy stuff. So yeah, uh, definitely you know, a lot of, a lot of fun stuff. For the uh, for the Kansas City Chiefs in this one, it's now McCall Hardman's third ring. And what's crazy is in his fourth Super Bowl, uh, he had just six yards combined 
entering this game, but gets the big 50-yard bomb and gets the touchdown. So, uh, you know, fun story. That's what I think about all this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.